You ready to rock? Ready to rock. Like you've never rocked personally before? It's a few times that I can actually say that. <laughs> and this is one of them. Hey. This is where the music's building. Bagels. The next plug in is over there, I guess. There's one behind that post. This Mike, do you want all the screw holes filled this time? Yeah. On the on the driver? No, we don't need that. Okay. There's over there. There's only like go around the corner here. Okay. Go out. Yep. Hallway, go through again. Okay. The first one on the left has two doors. The first one's usually locked. The next one we look They'll get broken in now though. <laughs> Start to shatter. All right, is that ready really to make noise? Weather stripping, Mike, or did you find some other stuff? That's the same. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, a little, little man. <coughs> Generator, what, what tone do you want to hear? Do you want to hear all music? Uh, do I need to do something with your tweeter first here? You want to hook that in, or no? No. No, you don't want to do anything? Throw it away? Yeah. Gently. Who wants to listen to every music at the same time? You ready? Oh, brutal. <laughs> Say it again, Kurt. I said you can feel it hitting you in the chest.
problem is to fully appreciate this video, you need to have these speakers in the room playing the, the audio. <laughs> Is that your amp cutting out, or what's, what's the cutout? I'm just hitting stop. Yeah, oh no, the, the USB driver like glitches, so it doesn't do a continuous stream. Uh -huh. This is no rear volume, I remember that. Okay. <laughs> Properly. You want a seat? <laughs> Get up on your soapbox. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see we're anechoic for 65 milliseconds, which is really cool. That'll be fine. This is all the distortion. Like textbook bad? No, it's good. It goes way high in frequency. You gotta dumb this stuff down for me. Just keep saying bad, good, bad, good. That's <laughs> that's really all I need to hear. Let's look the first reflection in and see what happens. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we need to set eight inch display in the front. You want eight, not seven and a half? Because we'll have a half inch gap back there and eight up here, is that what you're thinking? They're tight on the bottom. Well, we gotta do an inch and a half in the back, right? For the rear volume. No, no, we're no, we're technically we're right on the edge. Oh, there. that's right. So I got a little bit of an inch or an eighth. <clears throat> what you need is like a hundred mics. So they can just, you know, do a real good quick test. Tell me before you fire off another one of those crazy ones. Here's a nice seat for you. Yes, delete. Okay, you ready? Yep. That's going. So I say we put we glue the motorboard to it. The motorboard, not the leg, and then we can put the. Uh... And if you want to do any tests without the rear volume with angling and stuff, we need to do all that now. At 500 hertz. Wait, so that's is that better than predicted then? Because it's not as low, or it should be as low. No, it shouldn't be that low. So like if it's flat power response, we should be 10 dB on, down on axis at 1k. <clears throat> Right. And so if we put the phase plug in and reduce that front volume cavity, we'll go even higher. Um, but at 500 hertz, we're about 3 or 4 dB hotter than we expected, which means at 500 hertz, I'm narrower than I thought it'd be. But that's fine. A little bit EQ, it isn't being totally So real quick, we need to get an easy way to rotate this. Rotate this way. The whole thing, like, you want to spin the whole thing. Oh, and put an axis and spin. Um, I mean, it would be better if it was on the masonite. That would slip it over. Spin. Flip it over or the masonite. Which should, this, be this will slip on that carpet. Oh, on the carpet. Actually, yeah. it's really good idea. I'm rotate around that. It's going to be difficult to. What, what do you want? You mean you want to always have this be the same spot? Yeah. I don't know where the acoustic center is. Of put, a, room, put a mark on the masonite. The point at which the sound propagates, assuming constant sp uh, speed of sound. And that's for seven and three quarters. Oh, seven and three quarters? Yeah, so nine and. It's like it makes engineers get it. What is, what is, what 
what noise is that? That's not what it's I'm used to every, It's whoop, but the room what is so that, booming. Is that a, what kind of sweep? What's it's it called? called a log sweep. Log sweep. 132 feet per second. You want me to measure just the mouth, Mike? Well, we're at 31 points. Divided by... Thirty-five point eight feet. Thirty-five. You're behind the cabinet. Three, three, four. Yeah, it's, it's right up there. So we'll measure the angle from there. Acoustic sound. Why can't you acoustic. move the microphone? No, I can measure. So you're gonna do what? So bad. We're feeling the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of clubs for that. The the Pi 100 Club, something like that. Pi 1000 Club. For all that I thought you were doing. Yeah, it's close. Should I not be out here? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> got rid of the comb filtering. And I got a big notch at 400 hertz. The way manufacturers deal with this is they just smooth them. Like Perfect. <laughs> right in my finger. It's precise. Hey, we got. That is good. <laughs> centered me off that much. So I am seeing one polar lobe, but one polar lobe is better than a bajillion. Like spokes of a wheel? Yeah, all it's doing is it's just sliding in frequency. It's pretty interesting. Um, How many speakers have you done this with? What? What we're doing right now. Zero. Just a question. I've read them. You want to have them, Mike? Pretty close. Pretty close. Your center's moving over to your left. Yeah, we're kind of half off the curve. Well, let's do the voice coil. Yeah. It's close. I mean, I can move it. Uh, You're going to be wrong. Be consistent. <laughs> Kurt, were you talking in the middle of yeah, our yes. audio test? <clears throat> Man, that's frustrating. I'm going to whistle next time. I'm going to see what it does. Mm -hmm. You'll just create a spike with that frequency. Because that can EQ too. down by like 4 dB on all the plots. <laughs> these are the weirdest polars I've ever seen. But then I've never seen a speaker build like this before. So. Oh, it's new. Damn, that is just so crazy. <laughs> I can just see it up there hanging on the ceiling with pillows stuffed in. <laughs> see those pillows? Those are $800 pillows. Yeah. Well, we're, we're actually talking about uh, putting a board down there. Yeah. I drew, I drew a cone on that this morning. <laughs> you know what? That would improve that high out. frequency uh, low because it would keep it from falling off cold and over. A cone? Oh, from flapping over? Yeah. It would keep it going out where it needs to be. Like at. if you wanted to keep, because this wall is straight here. I was looking at it. This is straight. We could just go straight to a cone if you want to make it stick out. Yeah, that's what I had. I had a, it, it only came out like about this far in the drawing, you know? Okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't super far out. I thought, um, you know, because this wall here I was thinking might be combining. Just compare it to the last one only? Whoa. 
Those pillows made that big of a difference. That's crazy. Those are the two. Which one's the pillow one? The blue one or the green one? I thought the big one was the pillow one. This is the pillow one. The green one? I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Shoot it again. <laughs> it didn't sound that much different. It sounded louder. That was crazy. I went whoop. Different IR window. Oh. oh dang it. <laughs> well, I made them shorter to prove that we weren't getting a reflection. Okay. So is the new one on the right? That's better. So oh. yeah, we're pretty much the same. We got a little bit more here. Turn them right. Push it over to the the far wall. Yeah. So now just twist the front. Okay, that's perfect. Back to Canada so you could work oh, on them, but uh, that's not working out. Suitcase. Yeah. I'm not playing. The problem is <laughs> the problem is border patrol probably not yeah. Okay. Okay, Kurt. Uh, you want to do the splay thing again, Kurt? <clears throat> well, the first one you aim at the mic. Which you burn. And the second one you just arbitrarily guessed at. <laughs> and then we went scientific after that. <laughs> arbitrary, okay? <right? laughs> well, I've been really listening to your guy. Of course, that's a much smaller angle now. Almost identical. The right? The north one? So this one? What do you guys do differently that you're? Well, we're measuring one cabinet right doing now. One. And we're shorting the driver on the other one because what will happen is the pressure wave going out of the one horn will actually reflect back into this horn and moving the voice coil. So what I'm doing right now is I'm effectively shorting the voice coil so that this woofer does not move. Okay. Hmm. So that doesn't affect the response. Hmm. Ideally, the, the graph should be on each other. The closer they are, Identical the better. Identical on each other and just lowering in amplitude. Okay. That's already... Uh, <coughs> this is pretty sick. That's pretty good. So we might be able to splay them out wider. Save early, save often. That's actually really, really good. Might just run one cat. And I'm zooming in like it's 2 dB per division. Wow. Well, I definitely found the uh, 60. 6 dB down and we're like, what, 45 degrees off axis? Wow. So that's really cool. 
That's a really nice bubble he's got coming out. He's infinity. <laughs> oh, no. Optimus boy. That's not bad. Like, as far as sound systems go, that's not a showstopper. Um, I could just EQ this down, extra down on axis. But if I splain more, that moves lower to frequency. Splain more, that's going to get more on directivity. Oh, <coughs> take a shot. We were 22 inches on this pot. I want to move that to a quarter wavelength. To make that fit, that's not being a little. Okay, so just not just grab the other okay, box. So we can do that then. Gonna, they're going to put her here. Well, we can just make it wider, he's saying. Yeah. Well, okay. for this measurement, just do it as the measurement. So we're okay, changing so I'm, one. Okay, I'm at 17 and a quarter. Push yeah. That, that should have to fit. Actually, this one's going to go back. Whoops. Let's try and sit down and then use that as the spark curve. Why not? Straight wall, I thought. I thought I was building this in three hours. This tweeter. You just got complicated on me with that one word. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, I want to measure those radiuses where it's Because what we would do is do the straight wall and then cut the curve once they're on. You can just lay it to it. That'd be neat. Oh, yeah. That one would be way easier. That would take a day to build. No, don't get the ugly. I just put the brakes on projects, really. You did. Okay, do we have to plug this other one in here? Are you measuring both now? I put the brakes on projects. Yes, please. Thank you. But this is a three-year project in the last month. Uh, red goes on the built. plus. It goes vertically when I in the... brought on board. <laughs> <laughs>
blow it right through the wall down there. Oh yeah. We'll see the we'll see the uh, There's gonna be a hole we'll on the, the other net, side. We'll see the net on that basket move now. <laughs> okay, so what was this? <laughs> what was the angle on that? I don't know. It was just 18 inches between 18 inches play? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean to name that other stuff? Yeah, I mean, Yeah, it was 18 inch. inch. Actually, we should call this. What's that? The Ace Tone Gorilla. <laughs> I already made a speak to call the Gorilla Smasher. Oh. Never mind, then. Is that because he was. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Hey, hey, hey Mr. Talker. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's a little bit of curt noise in there? So what's in memory of Gorilla Glue? <laughs> what? So that's, what they, that's what they use to put these oh. together with. I, was, I tried to look at the polars. I'm like, we gotta do more. Ace, Ace Tone is acetone, and that was used to clean up the Gorilla Glue. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> we still have to swap sides too. Can you order this one? Tell us when to stop turning hurt. Back, 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 good. Like that. It didn't sound smooth for some reason. It, it does get smoother as we get more off axis. I mean... More? More. Look at the line. We're actually past 45 degrees. Okay. Uh, you're, you're really close. You're almost, <laughs> you're almost parallel to that line. If you stand. Well, here we're stuck over. It looks like it's falling off, and you got a real big dip right there. Are you going to knock that off with the uh, crossover? The two sides are identical. <laughs> Say it again. What do you think? <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> you know what? I bet if we were to get out some calipers and some measures. It's within sixteenth of an inch, which is like one hundred of Yeah, well, I don't care about sixteenths of an inch. You know how grandma is with finding. Seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. Let's let go three quarters of that. Wow, it's loud sitting down here. Wow. It's still nice and smooth. This little dip is smaller. Lazy Susan cool. 
case you're interested. Me? Me being I think this is the noise the other people made right here. <laughs> Man, look how wrong this room rings. It looks like you're included. Okay, so what is this one? Inverted. Inverted. Inside flat out front. Horn. Inverted flat front. Inverted flat front. Aim it better? I could just write my own software. Well, you could just write some stuff. Okay, so we're going to turn it to the next point, then, Mike. You're telling me. Oh, I want that left one to stay put. Okay. Oh, you're adjusting. We're going for a wider splay at the same angle. Just pause a second so those guys finish. Right? So I can just keep pushing it lower in frequency. So I get the desired effect. Okay, right. This is not going to work. That was almost the end of our experimentation. Can I have another amp? I'm gonna, do you want me to save it? I'll save it. You can save it for your reference because you could always look at that for hours and hours in the middle of the night and figure out something about it. Someone on the Clips forum might find that information helpful too. What angle are we at? It's almost like... <coughs> 45. We need, can we have your form handle? Doctor Who. Explain the icon though. It's a grasshopper, right? I'm a grasshopper, yeah. Because you're a young grasshopper? Roy called me. Learning from the master. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. One of these ones, right? Or apprentice, I guess you could call it. Imported slave labor too. Thank you. Imported. <laughs> <laughs> This is what kills me, is that the highs are getting louder as I go off axis on the secondary one. I feel like every sound is green. That's crazy. That does not... progress bar still playing sound as it's going? It's just I can't hear it? Yeah. Okay. 
blade's not coming out like the shape. In the horn, I can see that making a difference, yeah. Right, got it. Yeah, try, try to reuse Say the math is right. <laughs> the math is close. <laughs> what? An extra 2 dB dip at 400 hertz that I can't get rid of. End of the world. They're all in That's fine. I almost kicked that thing. Mike, that tweeter's totally not centered. Big boys, big toys. through that trackpad, that's out of control. That's <laughs> out of control, like uh-oh. Those are fine, I don't mind it. This is what we were hearing. So I'm, I'm going to show you through the design process of how we tune a speaker. Nice. So I roughly know what crossover frequency I want, so I'm going to leave that set. Everything else, just so I don't blow the tweeter. So the red's the tweeter, the blue's the sub. Rephrase, I forgot. I'm going to run the woofer wide open. Okay. I'm going to move the tweeter down. We'll go steeper. Now I'll move it down. So when's oh, the there you go. That won't blow it up. Because I don't want to break stuff, right? Naturally. So then I turn off all the EQs on everything else to get a baseline. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to measure one speaker. So I can mute one of them, mute the tweeter. So that's just the bass bin. That was someone that this. Hmm, that's weird. Well, we'll deal with that. See how the low end is more rolled off? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't get as much low as I want. It's okay. Uh, then we'll go... Well, you shouldn't with only one. They're both running. Both will Oh, I got it. You have that one muted. So now we'll do the tweeter. Two is the tweeter. That's the tweeter, so we can overlay. Oh, yeah. 
and we can say, hey, I'm going to call this flat on the woofer. So I'm going to bring the tweeter up. In volume. Other cool things I should be able to do. probably have an overlap earlier, shouldn't you? make this smaller. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to do a shelf on the woofer to make this come up flat. So this is a cool program because it lets me simulate shelves. The XTIs are 6 dB in octave, which is annoying because most of constant directivity stuff is 12 dB. So I figure out maybe 800 hertz gain of, let's see, six, nope, too much. I need to move it higher. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to have to cascade two shelves to get the 12 dB in octave I want. Um, so low shelf. Are you online right now, Mike? Just don't, uh, just don't it. It keeps dropping. Wi-Fi to your computer. Yeah, we're just kind of far away from the... If you put your laptop in the horn, you'll be able to pick up more. <laughs> Actually, no, but I did, build, I did build a directional antenna. Did you? A key antenna? A key antenna. Yeah. With a satellite dish attached with, to the camera. Really? At the focal point. That's how, cool. How far could you get? How far can I get? Mm, I'll put it this way. I could see networks that were like... I couldn't connect, obviously, but... I could see networks that were like a mile and a half away. Wow. That's <laughs> shooting down. That's really cool. Wow. It's pretty wild. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I think we got pictures of the Canton project on here. What's this little thing in between here? Quick, turn it on. <laughs> really loud. I don't know how to stop it, I just kick it real hard. <laughs> hey now. It, it kicks back. Yeah. Or that line so they can set their lasers to straight. Uh, single night working on it. But um, every time I learn something new, like it's just been a, like a topology that I've been incorporating things that I learn over time. Mm -hmm. So every time I learn something new, I'm like, I'll modify the design. It's just been sitting waiting for an application. So. And how do you mount this thing? With some. You're not allowed to do that. Time to listen to music? Getting there. <clears throat> this is Clifton I'm welcome. And this is Ben. Ben Bowen. Ben. So. Friend, of, friend of Kurt. See, we get a lot of cancellation. Yeah. If I want to be crazy, I could...
That's a good curve. What do you say so? Let's uh, <laughs> uh, listen to some music. See what you think. I'm not done yet. I have one more thing I want to do. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> we would never do this in a real application because this is recipe for, I mean, it's 10 dB of the recipe <laughs> for uh, <coughs> bottoming stuff hurting, out. Hurting stuff. Mm -hmm. I can go to 15. Like Patrick in Wisconsin, a buddy of mine there, he bottomed out almost $6,000 worth of uh, drivers. It's a bad day. Pentacones. <laughs> the cue in this is a little bit different. Doesn't need to go 10, does it? Is that a tweeter that's sitting in between? Do you always have a computer? Nope. No. Yeah, once it's he's, set. He's just programming it. Oh, wow. That'll sound good. So, it's making sound that I can... Lots of power, 120 dB at one meter. <laughs> You go to that manually. <laughs> Fourth order. It hurts. <laughs> That's how narrow the bandwidth is going to be. It's amazing what that'll do. You know, I might actually tune you. <laughs> <laughs> and I had like no confidence in that. <laughs> how are you going to hang it up? Does this hole. There's very few things that go No, we're right. going to drill holes. Yeah. And put. Wait, that's where you want the pets now that they're up there? <laughs> no. 